Hi everybody, Ian here at NAB 2012 and I'm very happy to stop by the Sound Devices booth and to speak to John. Uh, Sound Devices, as you know, has the beautiful PIX 220 and 240 recorders and now we are moving into the next stage which is the PIX 260. John, you want to give us some highlights and features of this new device? Sure, thanks Ian. The PIX 260 is brand new for the show here and what we've done is taken the 220 and the 240 architecture that has been very popular and is very powerful, and we put it into a rack-mounted configuration. So all the new features that we've added to the PIX 220 and 240 with the version 2.0 updates, the monitoring tools for focus assist and exposure, uh, exposure control, and the playback cues and looping playback, all those are going to show up in this version of the device, which is, is more oriented towards the rack-mount environment, the desktop environment, and what we see is a lot of need for more audio tracks. So in addition to all the picture elements, we've added more audio I.O. So with the PIX 260, we have eight channels of analog inputs, eight digital, and over Ethernet, we're using the Dante protocol, you can get 32 channels of audio over Dante with the Ethernet. The, uh, each individual audio channel is selectable from what source. You may mix analog and Dante or analog and STI embedded, whatever you may want to do. So it's very flexible in the audio side. It can also record wave files directly, so in an audio only mode and, and record directly to a broadcast wave file. The PIX 260, like the 240, uses our caddies. And so we put the caddy behind the, the screen here. And so we can attach two caddies simultaneously. So you can have both caddies front mounted and then when it's in the rack, you've got two additional eSATA connections on the back side. And the caddies are hot swappable? The caddies are hot swappable just like they are on the 240. The, uh, since this is a rack device, we've added some of the tools very typical of you know, legacy tape-based world. So we now have an RS-422 control. Uh, with the Ethernet, you can also control it as a, as, a, as a web server. So you can attach this to a network and you can address the box and query its state and set it up all over a web browser. So there's lots of power now with, uh, with the 260 now that we've put it into a rack and we can, we can add some circuitry to make it more powerful. Fantastic. And when can we start to see this rolling out? We're going to see this uh, late summer. So we've got fully working units here. They're, they're feature complete here. and. Uh, you know, we're going to be transitioning and finalizing that for production. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.